Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves for the Sony PlayStation 2. In the last video, we blew up some cabooses, and we also had to free Murray from the grasp of Carmelita, who is strangely dressed for the weather, a navy blue full body suit, and one of those little winter caps as well. As well as fur on the sleeves of the jacket. Which makes no sense because A. Murray's not wearing pants. B. Sly isn't wearing pants either. And C. Carmelita is a fox. Therefore, she has fur. Furries! Well, we have something that we need to do. But to do it, we're going to have to play as Bentley. And thankfully, I have 10,000 coins, which makes it a little easier to get everything. Possibly for the rest of the game, I'll still go ahead and get some coins from enemies when I need to. But other than that, yeah... I think I have all the coins I need for the rest of the game, maybe. I'll still collect coins just to compensate and kind of make up any difference that I might run into. But anyway, for 1,200 coins, we can get the hover pack for Bentley. You can extend your jump by hovering in the air. And we're going to pick it up, play as Bentley, and then... Equip it immediately, I was going to say, before I was interrupted by Jean Bisson. Anyway, the hover pack. Extend your jumps by hovering in the air. Press and hold the assign button to use. And you can also float upward slowly with this as well, which can be useful. But... I do want to make things a little easier on myself. If anybody shows up, they are going to get blasted. I say as I miss the first bomb. Oh, there's another one of you guys, huh? Well, I have no time to mess with you. Let's just go ahead and get rid of him. Get the coins and be gone. I want to turn left past these. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot. From this point forward, Carmelita will still be around. Huge. Flashlight radius and all. You can steal from her. You can steal coins from her. But I don't think you'll ever get any big treasures that you can get off the flashlight enemies. Or the regular enemies. And... That's basically it. Also, why am I using the control pad to um, control whoever I'm playing as here? I need to be using the stick because this is a PS2 game. And not every game is going to let me use the control stick. Where should I be? Oh. Right there. Well, thankfully, there's a way to get over there. I can just jump down here. Of course, there is a guy with a flashlight, though. But thankfully, I can easily take care of him. Let's get away from the bomb. There we go. And there is our trampoline here. That'll get us over here. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. And from here, we need to get on this 
train. Thankfully, as long as we can land on any part of the train and then single jump all our way to the back, we can get to the caboose just fine. And this is where the fun begins. We need to start avoiding some lasers. Which is strangely simple here. And then we got these. Thankfully, the floor lasers do not move. Only those five. And up here... We need to watch the bird shadow so that way we don't get nabbed. And from here... These guys are just going to be sh scratching their backs with their own shovels. But we can easily put them out of their misery with some sleep darts. And some bombs. Let's go ahead and get some of these things. Okay, good. And let's get this guy as well. Because he's just going to be a pain in the butt to deal with too. And we're going to have more enemies as soon as we go up here. Thankfully, we can zoom in. That guy was awfully close. And these guys didn't even know what hit them. Good. And now, we could fight these guys off, but we have the hover pack. We can use it to get all the way past these guys. And sadly, you can't get on the roof there. You have to go through the laser field like anybody else. You can also use the teleporters or the hover pack to get through here, I think. But I think if you do that, you have to deal with... Yeah, you have to deal with the enemies there, so... Hover pack it is. Yeah, these guys would see you if you did it this way. But thankfully, we were able to fly our way across. This made everything better. And this clockwork lung is as good as ours. are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. And now that we've taken care of Iron Horse one, it's now time to take care of Iron Horse numbers two and three. We won't be able to utilize Sly for either of these missions, so there's one for Bentley, and there's one for Murray. I'm going to be doing the Bentley one, which is going to be the harder of the two that we have to do. So, we need to get to that marker up there. Hopefully, without having a whole ton of problems... That was a train. Now. Iron Horse 1 was really easy to get on. Iron Horse 2, that one can get a little dicey to get aboard. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number 2. You 
and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that train. Oh dear. Um. I may have to use adrenaline burst here. Okay. Woo! That... I made that look easier than it was. You definitely want adrenaline burst for that. So, we're controlling the RC copter with the left analog stick again. X drops bombs, square shoots forward. Obviously you want to avoid the little red spears that come out when the missiles burst in the air, because those are dangerous enemy projectiles. Also, for best results when shooting at planes, keep tapping square. Don't just hold it. You'll be able to fire faster if you keep tapping. Now we've got four of these. Definitely want to concentrate on one of these at a time. That way you can more easily take care of these things as they show up. Thankfully, three ought to do it to destroy one of these things. And it shouldn't take very much effort to get rid of these planes. Thankfully, these things always take three hits to destroy. And I can just blow through them just like that. Okay. Need to watch out for the planes. These things, ow, they will come back eventually. I forgot that that second set will loop back towards you at the bottom of the screen, so you do want to be careful at this part. Now for this set, the planes do come back. Stay in the center, you'll take out half of them, and from there, you can take care of the rest. There should be more missile pods. This is it, the final stretch. And we should be able to get rid of these things. Hopefully. I'm so close. Deadly strike again. Yes, the aerial defenses are down. Now it's all up to Sly to finish the job. Well, that took less time than I thought it would. Um, today's going to be a three-mission day. That's insane. Usually I only get two done. I know that when I practiced for today's video, I got only two done. So, let's make it a triple header today, shall we? But in order to do that, we obviously need to get back to the safe house and I'm not having anything from you today so get out of here okay need to watch for where Carmelita is because she could be virtually anywhere but first we need to go ahead go back to the safe house and we're gonna get one okay we don't have anything to uh, sell and two we get the berserker charge for Murray this lets you scatter enemies with a powerful running attack we're gonna buy it because I want all the moves
And let's see here. What do I want to use? Obviously, L2. Alright, let's see what happens if we do this. Oh, you can just run right into somebody and just destroy them. Oh, this is nice. So you just press the assign button. You do a run. If Murray runs into anything, you will smack him around. Ooh, we need to get up there. Hmm. How are we going to get up there? Oh. Oh. That way, we need to watch out for Carmelita because she's right there. Okay. Well. Wow. Um, I thought I knocked him into the air and clocked him, but apparently that didn't do it. Okay. This should do it, I think. Unless I am horribly wrong. Just when I think I have a way of getting somewhere, I don't. At least I'm able to take care of him. Now let's see what happens if we go... Well, we'll be in the right place at the right time. I just need to watch out for the train. This is going to be a little interesting. Because I've never... I didn't practice this part at all. I just had the first two trains and that was it. So it looks like we're going to get... Oh, good grief. Is a trampoline still there or no? Good grief. You think you know a way to get up somewhere when you don't. Well... I'm just going to knock this guy out with the flame punch. Lost a little bit of health doing that, but it was worth it. Now we can go over here. About time. Of course, can I get over here? Something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. The noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to scream the angry youth. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. Beware, Cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Well, apparently we can make it to the platform after all. And that is where one of the bear cubs we need are going to be. Let's go ahead and stomp the bear. And from here, we need to take it back to over there. We do need to be careful. We don't want to get spotted by anybody. And we also don't want to get... Oh, that was so close. Good work, Murray. I'll send you the coordinates to the next bear cup. This would be so much better if I could actually see. And the guy with the flashlight needs to go. Oh, good grief. Well, at least we can use these punches to get rid of these guys. Okay, there's the other one. So once you grab a bear, you got to bring it all the way back to the hand car, and that little, little cage near the safe house. And you need to press circle so that way you can throw the bear in the cage.
Of course the other bear cub would be in the cave. Why wouldn't it be in the cave? Good grief. Well, we're going to have to take our time with this one. I believe. Because both of the bears are going to be right next to each other right there. I'm afraid that if I grab this bear, it's gonna wake, or rather, it's gonna make the other one angry. Or not. I thought I was gonna have trouble with the bears. Strangely, that is not the case. Time to throw it in. And we now have this hand car ready for use. Now to see where virtually anything else is going to be. Need to get up here. I want to do that and look around before. Oh, we do have a slime mission. We need to go all the way to that cabin. All the way to the north and west of the safe house. But I've been playing for more than 20 minutes. I don't think I have anything to sell. Okay, good. I don't have anything to sell. And I don't necessarily need to say, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. We are now two-thirds of the way through the game, which is amazing. So, once this game saves it will be time to call the video join me next time where we go into that cabin again with sly thankfully we don't need to get any treasures any of the podium treasures because we managed to get them all of them in the last couple of videos i thought i missed maybe one of those thief net treasures that I needed but nope we got the last one the last video the last one we needed was in the bear cave so there's that what is going on over there I can't believe Carmelita is or is that the bear Oh, this is something. Wow, um... Carmelita is getting destroyed. And I'm just sitting here now... Wondering what's going to happen. Wow. Um... I should probably explain this before I end the video. It is possible for Carmelina to get caught too close to an enemy and therefore she's just locked in combat with them forever or for a very long time. While it's not much of a problem now, it could have been a problem when we were trying to get the three keys from her because I know that when I practiced that mission she was tangling with one of the mole enemies that you see near the cabins and as well as a few of the snowy areas for about a minute or two. And I eventually had to break it up by defeating the mole, but of course that also got Carmelie's attention and I had to run away from her. So, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, so much for... An uneventful video, I guess. Well, it was eventful because we got three missions done. But anyway, join me next time where we go into that cabin and we have to take care of 
whatever it is that we need to do. I believe that with what we've done as Bentley in Iron Horse 2, we should be able to get over there with Sly now. I think we're going to be getting on a, on a train with him in the next video. That's what I want to believe is going to happen. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!